Boss. Rush. Bonus. Yes. Ugh. Yes. It's episode 50, Chronicles of Smile, the epilogue, if you will. I wasn't quite ready to say goodbye, and we were one shy of 50 episodes, and that annoyed me, so I devised this. We're gonna be doing a boss rush. We're gonna go through do all the bosses. I, mean, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but, you know... Nice way to round it out to 50 episodes and say farewell to our good Smelm. Our good wizard. He's been a bit of a skeleton sometimes. In the most alarming way possible. But to be fair, he's got a fancy stick now. Oh, oh, wizardry. Ah. So, yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to be a little opportunity for me to go back through all of the areas and just... Uh... You know, fuck up their respective guardians. And maybe say a little bit about each of the areas. And, you know, a bit about the game as a whole. So, yeah, I guess we go we go start with this. Now, I've not got any other legend items is the other thing. So, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going in unprepared. And I don't know if we will reach level 99 from doing this, but we should at least definitely get past level 90, so we'll see the final wizard, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let the, let the boss rush bonus begin! Forsaken Province. You are now entering Lich's Crypt. This area I do like, I've, I do like spoopity boopity Halloween town looking places like this. Have fun guillotines. Take your head off that, pop that on. I suppose I could have started shooting. I wanted him to get his entrance out of the way. Flinging your own rotten rib flesh. I should warn you, I'm a lot stronger than when we last fought. And I did you a pretty grievous mischief back then. So yeah, Forsaken Province, I love it. it's one of my, uh, certainly one of my favourite aesthetics in the game. And and you get it right off the bat, so that's, that's always good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different aesthetics in the game, there's very unique aesthetics for all the levels, I feel like anyway, and I feel like that's a mark of good design. You know, that, that you can lend yourself to so many different areas and have them all make a distinct impression, you know. But this is, this is definitely one of my favourites. Fun zombies. Zombies are usually kind of uninspiring for me. It's just sort of... it's Particularly now, it's just been done to death. But I do like... Big executioner fella. Quite a good lich. Get her! Okay. You alright there? So, yeah. On the subject of the game, it's, um... I mean, you, you know, you've had 49 episodes at this point to have noticed. It's... I mean, it's Gauntlet. It's what Gauntlet was back in the arcade days. And, you know, they've made, they've made slight upgrades past that, but fundamentally it is just walk around and shoot people. Just like we have walked around and shot him. We didn't even need to use our Skull Summoning Blur move. Nor did we go up a level at all. Yeah, I know, I've got your shard. You have defeated 
but uh, because because of its uh, repetitive nature, like you are just literally doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, you kind you kind of need kind of need a lot going for you to pull you through it, and so this does this does kind of in a lot of ways lay bare some of the tricks used to that effect. Like the act of like leveling up and like getting a different looking version of a fancier looking version of that character is very compelling. Uh, the the visual style of it is another like you wanna know what the next area looks like, you wanna know what you know the next set of enemies are gonna look like. It's a skill in and of itself, like, I wouldn't say that it was cheating, but, yeah. It, it's a mark of a good art department, at the end of the day. Which, I didn't, I didn't take stock of who the art department were when we saw the credits, but, yeah. Forsaken Province. Green. Spoopy. Good Executioner. One of my favourites, if not my absolute favourite. Makes me think a little bit of a medieval. Yeah, that the PS1 game that got a PSP remake and is getting a new one now. Or rather, medieval makes me think of this because I played this first. But yeah, it's it's a good spooky skeleton time aesthetic. It's not quite Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a bit more correctly proportioned than that, but... Still very good ghostly time. Moving on to Fiery Fire, where we fight a dragon in there. Mountain Dragon Fight. Mountain area, one of your more, um... This, this is kind of your standard... This is a fantasy game setup, really. Can't freeze, I'm gonna punch you to death. Punch your feet, punch your feet! Good for you, my punches. For you, my punches. Ah. Take your chicken drumstick and I flee. Ugh. So yeah, there's not really a lot for me to say about this world. I mean, this area looks cool, but it's mostly just rock that you can see of it. It's mostly just the implied idea of sort of the vista beyond it, and the sort of desolation. But yeah, it's your very, it's kind of your very typical. This is fantasy game scenario, and of course, in the original, because we're playing the remake, PS2 uh, redo of it. The original one that I played on the Dreamcast, this was the first uh, realm that you went to. First of the four. And uh, you, can, you can sort of tell that, because it's a very, this is the first realm look. Yeah, you know, uncomplicated. Fighting orcs on the side of a mountain. It is the first idea one would come up with, and you even fight a dragon at the end. But I mean, it's, it's still done well. I like the dragon, I like his face. Uh, I don't like when he shoots me. I'm gonna punch this dragon to death, I've decided. Oh, you don't need to do that, though. Oh wow, I actually did punch him to death quite effective, quite handily there. I'm starting to worry that we might not reach level 90 doing this. I'm punching dragons to death and just making mincemeat of leeches. Leeches? Liches. Leeches, liches, potato, potato. Who calls it a potato? 
I mean, I, I realize this is not the most original observation in the world, but... Eventually someone's gonna have to fucking answer, you know? Who's calling it a potato? Dave? I mean, really? Potato, Dave. It's a weird energy, sort of being di doing a victory lap of this. Puts me in a weird frame of mind. So yeah, uh, uh, closing statement on fire area. Sort of basic. Your orcs are normal. Dragon. Because, of course, you do go underground into a lava place with weird chomp monsters, and that, you know, that's kind of interesting. It's a perfectly serviceable first area. Not sure why it was the second area in this. Moving on. I do like the spurty lava volcano times that happen out of it, the sides of it when you see how it's done. If I'm being honest. Snake wings! Moving on to the castle. Castle's another one of my favourites. I like built-up areas. I like places with things in them. I'm a fan of cities, what can I say? Don't have to explain myself to you. Hello, dickhead. I've got a potion that's made me big. Ah! I've got three-way shot that I got from your dragon friend, and I'm going to shoot all your heads off. And I'm going to probably do you a skull. Ah, oh, you're doing the bad magic. Have I run out of three-way shot already? I feel like it expends itself quicker in these, uh... Okay, I was holding down the block button. Can I just point out? You can make eagle noises all you want, but you're still basically dead. So yeah, there's actually a good bit of variation in this world in terms of levels, because like you go from... sort of castle town to the dungeons, I think. Sort of dungeon area. Then it goes to the barracks, which is a bit sort of like a castle town rehash, I guess. Except more sort of military rather than civilian. Then it goes to an armory, then it goes to a treasury, and then you go off and... Um... Snake went out at the same time. All that's left is a hawk. More of a raven. I think it's meant to be an eagle. Does the eagle want to do anything at range? At close range? Not really, just sort of sits there wiggling at you. This is the eagle that wiggles at you. What a palaver, it looks at your shoe. Get off the battlement. I did indeed. So yeah, I do like dark castle town aesthetics. Sort of medieval-ish. It's one of the things I actually liked about uh, Blood Omen 2. Which, like, it's, it's one of the few things about it that like really stands out to me. It's kind of an alright game otherwise, but... Yeah, it's not my favourite of the Legacy of Kane series, but 
I do very much appreciate what it's got going on aesthetically. And I wish more, uh, more games would do it. Maybe they have done. Maybe I'm just not finding them. I want more... I want more people to try and fill the Soul Reaver-shaped void in my heart, really. Because just no, nobody has stepped up. Castle Realm. Good variety. Nice cities. Your gargoyles on this platform are fun. 10 out of 10. Do like it. Say goodbye. The castle area. Dude, I do just like everything about this. Everything about what we're looking at right here. It's real good. Sky Dominion! Fight the skies! Or in them at least. Plague fiend? More like plague. Fuck off, you idiot. <laughs> My fight, guys. Because <laughs> he's an idiot or something. <sighs> Forced laughter kind of does a number on your throat, huh? I didn't realise that. Pretending to be amused by things is difficult. Go away. Don't don't plump. You didn't need to. Ah. Don't know why I got that close. Why have you sh why have you schmuffed off to the side? Why are you giggling? Ah, why have you splunged? So yeah, sky area probably might honestly be my least favourite aesthetically. Or like, at, the, at the very least, because it's just kind of repetitive. It's just sort of a lot of like you get the you get the toxic spire, and then after that, it's just basically a lot of wood in the sky. Like there's there's a limited amount you can do in the sky, really. I guess is my point. Just a bunch of different boats, effectively, is what they decided on, and it gets a bit repetitive after a while. Hey! Look at that. Don't... Ah. Uh, don't make me die. Why have you done it? Oh, stop it. You could not. There are things you could do that are not this. I'm just sort of eating the damage here, because I've just wound up accumulating so much unused, unspent gold. Can probably buy my way back up to full health. I do want to conserve a bit of it, because it's, it's, it's going to be the last run of bosses. Scorn onward, I think, is going to be a problem. Because that's when that's when the funds dry up, and of course you got to do an entire level to get to them as well, haven't you? So. You have found both from this realm. And also a lot of green stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's. I don't want to be too harsh on the Sky Dominion because it is. It's quite interesting for a couple of levels. Like if all if all of the like flying boat stuff had been one level instead of pretty much the entire realm, that would be pretty good. I do appreciate that sort of sky pirate thing. It's just you know I don't want to do an entire world about it, you know. Whereas the spooky stuff, I the the, the 
Forsaken Province I do not tire of. In quite the same way, even though it is mostly just sort of spooky looking soil and graveyards. So I guess it's really down to personal tolerance. Which is sort of a thing with this game in general, really. Like, I can sit here and play this m multiple times, like, go through this whole procedure with every different character, getting them all the way up to level 99. Like, like I, I've done that. I've done that on multiple occasions, although I think I've only done it once to, like, 100% completion. But yeah, it, it all depends. I'll, I'll finish. I'll finish the thought in a minute when I run out of things to say about the jungle, which I inevitably will. But Sky Dominion, f flying planks, bunch of green. Could have done with having more to it. There's things beyond your machinery. We're gonna see them now. Jungle! Well, they call it a forest, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to make of this place, I gotta be honest. Gauntlet, gauntlet me old mucker. But I'll fight your spiders. Queen Spider. Got fighting without poisoning her, haven't I? Which is the one thing I said I just wouldn't do. I'm hoping that me being so overleveled makes it easier on me. Which it won't, because I'm being, I'm being punched, Spider! Oh, and you've got a nest of tiny people. Don't hit me. Being rude. Ah, ah, savage. Savage arachnids. Gah. Oh, ow. Wow, you're really, you're really making your point, aren't you? Yeah, how do you like dealing with unpoisoned spider women? And the the bitter truth is that I do not. This is really ouch. If I don't go up five levels for this, I should, but I won't. But I should. Because it's painful to do Right, I'm level ninety at least. Punch in your spider. You get me get me the Oh, get me the cream. Cream of chicken soup. So, anyway, forest area. I guess the forest area is also kind of visually repetitive. You do work your way up a tree. So, it, it does change in sort of subtle ways. You go from just a swampy area to the bottom of a tree, to the middle of a tree, to the top of a tree. So, it changes in subtle ways, and it's also... I don't know, I guess visually it's more appealing to me than just, Like, it's certainly more vibrantly coloured. Like, you've got, you've got the deep blues and purples in the backgrounds of the sky in the Sky Dominion, but you're mostly just staring at wood. Wood and metal, and it's not very, sort of... I mean, it's hardly deep, luscious greens, is it? Let's be, let's be perfectly honest. Go away! You know, you do have you do have to make concessions to Mother Nature. You've done some fun colours. Sorry, I punched all your spiders. They were stopping me. Ah, potion! Potion usage! Got nine of them, why not? Might as well. 
You have knocked years off my life. Don't hit me! Don't scream and hit me! You're being mean to me! Gorn. Cornwall. I expected I was going to finish whatever the point was I was making earlier, but I sort of... I've spent a lot of time panicking about the spider. This is a, this is a very panicky fight. Rapid spider points! Small summoning blur! We did gain two levels. So it's not like we got completely chuffed over. But yeah, I guess I guess what I wanted to say is like You have found the one rune stone from this realm. Like the vi the visuals of this game get repetitive in places, but it's still like it's never bad for me to look at in my opinion. Like I'm always like I quite appreciate I always have an appreciation for the aesthetic on some level, even if it's not, like, my aesthetic exactly. I can always be like, I can imagine someone really being into the look of this. Like, the Sky Dominion, I can absolutely understand why someone would just absolutely be like, this is bloody brilliant, mate. Look at all these flying boats. Whereas, I'm, you know, I'm more of a Forsaken Province man myself. Bit of a Dream Realm... Ch bit of a Dream Realm chap. But I would not... I would not look upon them with... scorn. <laughs> For saying that they are uh, like flying boats. Do you get the pun? It's the name of the evil demon in it, isn't it? Oh! Blue Wizard is now a level 90 Archmage! Your collar's popping now, son! It's the same colour as your bald head, which really makes me feel like you're made of gold! And why does that look it look like there's a puncture mark in the top of your skull? Is it just my eyes doing that or is it Looks like someone stitched his like his split his skull in half and stitched it back together. Your stick's marginally more fancy, I think. It's getting difficult to pass the differences in scepter. It's a pretty grand looking wizard. So I think we've seen all permutations of this wizard. If you get to level 99, I think it's just this, but he's a he's bigger now. He just becomes a large boy. A tall man. It's like you've got the growth potion on constantly. So anyway. Forest realm. Jungle stereotype music. Bit anachronous. Can there be swamps in forests? I don't know, I'm not a forestologist. Pretty good. I like your ants. So yeah, this solid bit of work this here. I'm not gonna use either of the fun shortcut things that we've shown off. I'm gonna go gonna do it the way Jimmy wants you to remember. Jimmy wants you to remember that we approached the Eagle Wing. Fun gold spiky mohawks. Desert Realm. Our hair still clips through the collar, even though the collar is improved. But you know what? You can't win them all. At this at this point, the collar is really quite good. The the not it being. The trim colour rather than the like the colour of the rest of it really sort of helps. 
I feel like. This is technically one of the most basic colours we've had. It's just a solid colour, pretty much, with a bit of a, like, sheen on it. Sorry, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit of a video game fashion nerd, so it's you you know I've got to overanalyze everything. What is going on with your cuffs, sir? Cuffs, your sleeve is weird to look at from this angle, but I shall let it slide because I've got to fight the evil genie. Enter the Sanctum. So yeah, the Desert Realm, apart from being a complete fucking stereotype of itself... Still pretty decent, like, I mean, you've got decent variation. Even if you do know exactly what to expect, it's done well. It's a very well done version of exactly what it was always going to be. Yeah, you know, you go from sandy... I was gonna say sandy places, and then I realised we're in a fucking desert. You know, sort, sort of the ruins of a sandy town to a more sort of active... No, it's not. It's, a te it's like ruins of a sandy town to a, like ruins of a sandy temple. I don't know why I thought it was like a full-on, like... Okay, so those two it's kind of different, because I realise what I've done is I'm mistaking areas from the first level with areas from the second. But then it goes from that to a pyramid, and it goes from the pyramid to a tomb. And there's some there's some distinction going on there. So the, yeah, this, this is another good one, real good one. They're all good. They're all good. Some of them are basic, some of them are repetitive, but they're all good. The genie, as I've said, one of my favourite from the original four. It's, it's the scimitars that do it, and him being a torso boy that tapers into a tornado. It's a strong look, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the, the teeth are weird, the eye is odd, his pecs don't match in the eyes of God. But I like him. I do have to wonder if a certain amount of the disjointing is the remaster, because... I remember looking back at screenshots from not all, but some Dreamcast titles, and being like, okay, surely that's been doctored, because that looks better than some PS2 games. I find it odd that this did not become... the standard. Mind you, horsepower's not everything. I mean, the, you know, the, uh... The Xbox One X, sort of languishing at the moment. That is what it was called, right? The, the updated Xbox One, the most powerful console, and it's it's like, well, great. <laughs> you know, yes. I mean, for a start, nobody's going to bloody use it, are they? And there's, like, there's there is no way this hardware gets maxed out before we hit the next generation. It never does. Nobody ever actually fully explores the possibilities that the hardware presents before they get set on selling you a new one. None of this is about Gauntlet. I'm trying to keep it as a celebration of this game. Don't sweep your sweeps at me! Oh, the truth! Ah, oh, the angles! <laughs> Sorry, language sort of went wrong on me for a second. Bandage Boy's also a strong look. A torso tornado scimitar bandage boy. Pointy ears. It's real good. I mean, at this point, either you agree with me or you don't. Like, there's no point in me explaining it. I'm gonna drop rocks on your tornado generator and it's gonna be evil for you, haha. <laughs> His sword blades are perhaps a bit balloon-esque. They do, they do look inflatable a little bit. How did I get onto the subject of remasters? No, I was on the subject of remasters. It went remaster... 
it, it went Disjointed Nipples, Remaster, Dreamcast, Hardware Capabilities, Ranting About the Industry. That, okay, that was the progression. I seem to have lost a lot of health while I, was, while I wasn't paying attention. I do like this area as well, the pure black sky. I don't know, something about that's very striking. Something about, like, pure black, even though everything else is perfectly lit. Some would call it lazy, I call it a fucking mood. I mean, I'm not good. like... The, p the person who accuses this game of being lazy visually is a fucking idiot, because, I mean, look at his bum, as well! <laughs> it's, got, it's got nothing to do with the point I was making, but he turned on, I saw his bum. So, of course, I'm going to bring it up. Look, one of your... one of your... Jackals has been destroyed to hammer home the fact that it is old. So good, and the visuals alone can propel me through a lot of it. The rest of it, the gameplay is sort of like... It's satisfying to mow down a bunch of enemies, no matter how simply you're doing it. I mean, you know, look how well Dynasty Warriors has done for itself. Let's not talk about nine. We don't talk about nine. Vibrant yellows. Sorry, I'm just saying things as they sort of hit me in the brain. A little bit disjointed. Ow! Ow! Because we're, we're sampling all we're sampling all of the aesthetics in one run, aren't we? So it's going to be kind of ah, you're lasering me in the back. Skull summoning. Blah. Yeah, you shattered bastard. I'm really hungry. I've not had dinner yet. I need to finish this up so I can eat. I am aware. Let me get all my coins before you teleport me away. I know all of this. I know I'm amazing. What's that? There was a floating circle being suspended above it. That I'd, that I'd never noticed. But I notice it now. Floating circle. Let it never be said that they hid that one from me. Munch a bunch of chicken, get my health back up. Saving the game more out of habit than anything else at this point really doesn't... doesn't matter so much at this stage. I'm done. So yeah. Oh, sorry, so, sort of forgot what, where I am and what I was doing for a second there. That happens to me sometimes. This is real pinchy scorpion stuff. Sorry again. Again, I'm just—it's just like I'm, I'm saying things that I'm seeing and just sort of only really thinking about for the first time in a while. But yeah, if I can stop twitching around this circle, I want to stand dead center and look outward like I've been doing. But anyway, desert realm. What you would expect. Still very good. Mummies are underrated. Glad they're in this. Real good tornado torso boy. Maybe fix your scimitars. To look more bladed. Anyway, so yeah, Desert Realm, very good. I like your sarcophagi on the entrance. I was like, Remem remember these are in Egypt? Old Egypt, ancient Egypt, and then just some scaffolds. <laughs> Still under construction. Moving on to the Ice Dominion. 
Um, pa pum pa pum pa 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 pa. Do you like my chips? Eat them, please. Fight a yeti. The Ice Dominion. The Ice Dominion might actually be my least favourite, and that's not to say that it's bad, it's just, it's... Just sort of, just sort of the most mediocre, I would say. Because even in the uh, mountain region, it does change it up a bit when you, you know, go into the lava chasms. Like, there's more variation in the Mountain Kingdom, even, than there is in this one. I feel like. And so th this is probably... And it's all just snow and minecarts, which, you know, at least flying boats is, you know, a bit fantastical. And again, it's not a bad look, necessarily. It's just the most... Or rather, the least interesting area, to me, personally. Do you have a close-up grab move? I think you do. Well, I want to see it since I've got the opportunity. You got a swing. You got a swing again. Yeah, he takes a chomp off you and then he throws you in a really mardy sort of. You're not my dad. <laughs> but yeah. Punch. One of the, one of the few boss fights that sort of tries anything sort of tremendously different. What am I? What are you even punching? You're just punching the air. Shoot your horns off! Kill you away! Skull summoning blur! Ow! Believe it! I can't believe I've finished the series on this. This might, this may be the game I've sunk the most hours into cumulatively over my life. Don't know. I mean, like, like if if we would if we assume that it is, what was it when we got to the end of this? The, the thirteen hours or thereabouts. So it'd be slightly more than that getting up to level ninety nine. So if we call it 14 hours... So there's eight realms, each with their own character, and bonus character, which is sort of like costume variant of that, so... Eight times six... No, it... What, what, what numbers? What numbers are coming out of my mouth right now? It'd be 16... times 14 hours... You end up with an ungodly number, is my point, and I don't, don't, I don't really keep track of the amount of time that I sink into games. As, as a general thing, I just, I just sort of focus on playing it, really, not. I'm a, I'm a very in the now kind of player of video games, but I need to be more like that in life. Really, I'd probably be happier. But here's all your icy socks. Don't jump. I'm not near your things. Be more considerate. What again? What are you punching? The the pot the possibilities for spawning icicles. Uh, I, I think I think it's interfering a bit with my ability to shoot because it's maybe registering that there is something there even though there isn't, and making me do punches when really I'm supposed to be doing a shoot, a shooty magic. Ow, my my leg, my leggy, my leggy, my leg. Ah, I'm noggin. Ah, yeah, me everything. Ah, there's me sprung. Ah, sprung, spring chicken. Ah, clean me.
I really am very sorry that I'm like this. Some people really seem to like it. I, I keep finding these people who... Like, I'm amazed anyone tolerates it, but like, they actively seem to think it's good what I'm doing. What I'm doing to everyone. F filling the universe with. I'm quite lucky in that regard. Not so lucky that it enables me to get on with people in general, but... You know, I mean, I, I always seem to find... We always seem to find each other, so... That's something good. You have defeated the vicious yeti. I'll defeat as many yetis as you got, mate. I've, I can, I can fuck him. That's, that's, let's not think about it. Let's not think about any of it. There's enough to think about without me contributing to the, the, the fucking backlog of thoughts everyone has to have. Yeah, gained a level. I guess your stats stop going up after level 90. I'd forgotten that was a thing. Oh, give me some tasty juice. Swirly my gig. Whirly my gig. Wizard in the background looking in made of stars. So yeah. Ice Dominion. Bunch of snow, bunch of mines. But really the worst I can say about it is that it's the most repetitive of them. It, you know, it, it is at worst mediocre. But... It's only it's only real crime is that it's disappointing in comparison to to everything else really for me. And that's really the worst I could say about any of this game visually is that it's not up to the pretty brilliant standard of everything else. Not all visuals are graphics. No one could accuse this game of being graphically all that brilliant, but there's more to visuals than just looking high fidelity. Now, yeah, there's a there's a reason bloody retro style pixel art stuff is so popular. Even if I don't understand it myself, but you know the dream world. Quite possibly the favourite of my favourite ones. For some of the same reasons as the, um... You know, it's a bit spooky-booky. So it's sort of a forsaken province in this, tied for first place in my estimation, really. The beginning and the end of the eight realms. Start on a, start on a high note, end on a high note. That is, to be honest, good practice. Really, isn't it? What they've done there? You've got a crown on, you're a fun wraith. So yeah, Dream World. I like, I'm a big fan of dreamlike aesthetics. I've talked about this in my Rayman playthrough. It's one of the reasons that that's such a good game visually for me. Do you have any close-up powers that you want to demonstrate? You've got Sweepo, can you pick me up? You spin. Oh, oh, squiggly, wiggly, wiggly, woo! I'm glad I got to see your squiggly woo move. That's real good. That's fun. I've lost a thousand health. Please tell me I didn't lose a thousand health from squiggles alone. 
If squiggles are overpowered, someone should nerf his squiggles some decades, a decade and a half later. If not more, definitely more, I would, I would argue. I would say two decades with complete confidence, except I would be talking about the original and not this version. And since this boss was introduced in this version, it would be daft of me to do so. The Dream World. Good move opening on a carnival. I like that. I like. I'm a huge fan of the dark carnival aesthetic as well. Like, it's. You know, I think I've mentioned this. In this series, I've got my two main modes, Skeleton Wednesday and Clown Siege. Skeleton Wednesday obviously being the Forsaken Province, Clown Siege being this. You know, it's an aesthetic consideration. Those, those are my two favourite spooky aesthetics, like Skeleton Bones Cemetery Boy, Haunted. And also, uh, creepy, uh, spooky carnival things happening. Real good. Where possible, though, I do prefer jesters over your modern clown. I prefer the motley to just dung big dungarees. It's all good, I just have a specific preference, you know. Again, I'm not calling your modern clowns bad. I just feel like... Jester's had the right idea. You know. Shoot the boy. Make him gone. Ugh. <sighs> Never, never done one episode for this long before. I've had recording sessions that have gone on longer than this, but like... I don't know, I'm making excuses. I'm making... Ex it's the end of the day, I've... you know, I'm... I'm excited, which basically just means I burn energy quicker on doing the same shit. And that's your wraith dealt with. Pyramid sent a skull in after you. As if the camera followed the skull for a second there. He was going to go off and have his own adventure. Yeah, I want more. I want more spoopy stuff in video games, and I'm not. I'm not talking about horror games. There's a def there's a definite horror deficit, but like. I guess things like Dark Souls and Bloodborne are the ones that have come closest to what I'm talking about. I want I want your your gothic shit. You know, I want I want things that aesthetically fill the void left by the absence of things like Soul Reaver and Gauntlet Dark Legacy, what we're looking at now. And yes, even Rayman, Rayman Revolution. I, I just feel like there is, you know, there's... There's aesthetics left untapped right now, and I don't know why. I don't know what, I don't know what's... What did they do? What did, what, what did they do to get snubbed? Did they just fall out of being trendy? I don't know. Oh, I've got to do my, my summary, haven't I? My world summary. Dream world. Real good clowns. Lovely organ. Do 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 do. Lovely organ. Excellent clowns. Lovely circus. Do do do. Wonderful time. You'll have a great fight. Ooh do 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 do. Real good. Just real real good demonstration of some some just good world design that of, of a of a stripe that I wish we'd see more of. 
It's also a bit medieval. As well, in a lot of ways, is this bit. Medieval. Do the medieval is that? I guess that is. Medieval just knows what my aesthetic is and managed to be it before I was aware that it existed. Real excited for the for the remaster of that. I'm excited to see what that looks like in. You know, if, if they keep the the feel of everything but make it look all silky smooth, like if someone were to do that with this, no one ever will. No one ever will like do this but all smooth and silky i but you know if, i'm i'm curious to see what it would look like i guess yeah but especially with the crash and the spyro trilogy remasters but anyway desecrated temple isn't it And of course, in the, in this one, we've got no choice but to get the uh, the legend item because it's on the way. I mean, we could leave it there, but I'm not gonna. My, you know, my 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 game person, my game player person. I don't want to use the word gamer as the thing because it's, it's been poisoned by a certain type of person, a certain type of venomous asshole. Who has to send fucking death threats as their solution to every problem. Oh, but I can't stay angry when the cathedral is so gorgeous. Oh, cathedrals are another big one. Stained glass cathedral. Deep lustrous reds. Again, good organ music, different kind of organ music. But it's all good, organs are great. There's a reason we use that word to describe real important parts of our body. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, chatting nonsense again. But then if you're still with me by that point, you're pro by this point, you're still... What? <laughs> Can't even finish basic sentences! Ah. Why do people like me? I mean, it's not translated into any engagement with my YouTube stuff, but... You know, I, I, I just meet one or two people who just seems to think, seems to think, seem to think, seems to think, seem to think, overground wombling, yeah! It's not, I'm not faffing about running circles around and getting halos. We don't want the video to become too unwieldy, do we? Oh, oh, boss rush bonus! Shooting skull, woo! It, it, come to think of it, this also gives us a good look at some of the different, uh, you know, rank and file grunt enemies, doesn't it? Your basic orcs, your desert orcs, uh, your, your forest reptile fellas. Unfortunately, not featured here, but you know, you know. You don't get a look at all of them, but you know, I've done an entire series on this game, 49 episodes. You know, if you want to get particularly in depth. If for some reason you started on the bloody epilogue and you're now thinking, hmm. Kind of wish he'd show me what the rest of the game looks like. I bloody did! Bizarre fantasy scenario I've contrived. Nobody's watching this. For a fucking start. Stop being real. Get your glasses back. Oh, and the sa the soundtrack as well. 
it, it is like a dagger through my heart that I have to sort of play this at a low volume so that it doesn't get picked up on the microphone. It's a, it is as a dagger through my heart that I can't play this with headphones. I'd play the fuck out of this with it. I mean, I'm sure there's there's some sort of rig I could set up to make that possible. But it's money and time and expertise that I don't have. Oh, I thought I was thought I'd got my skull summoning ability, my skull summoning bar all the way up. Shoot with the three-way lightning boy. Ooh, da -da -da. Clangs over death's head indeed. I know, mumbling boy. Where's your organ gone? There, there it went. Organ. Organ. Organs are just, um, they're brilliant just visually as well, just this massive imposing thing that makes massive imposing sounds, really. It's wonderful instrument, full of keys. Some of them might be. You don't know? Shut up. Ah, uh, look at all these creatures! Purple miners. Gas mask fellas. Zombie... Reapers of wheat. Because it's, it's not a scythe so that one could reap in the manner of a grim reaping. It's more of a sickle. For cut... It's really more practical. Like, uh, you know... Scythes seem kind of unwieldy. I guess you get more area coverage. And... I'm sure someone can explain to me why I knew that was a bomb. Why did I open it? Distracting myself by trying to, you know, actually talk because you've, you know, you've seen this all before, presumably. More stuff. So yeah, this is another place that I really like. Pick up your circle! Now I gotta go fight Scorn! Get to the boss part of this boss rush. You are now entering the altar of Scorn. Yeah, I am. Heathwit! Gained a level by using my circle, good. Oh, I forgot. He's gonna do this little... and you're going down. Shoot my gauntlet circles at you. Gauntlet circles? Skulls. This is really good boss fight music as well. It's... I remember it being a hassle to find like a good. Uh... Like I, I scoured YouTube for like a, a good high quality. Uh... Well, because it's sort of beepy and boopy, like at the best of times. It's sort of like a little bit not chipped, not chip tune. Which is a difficult word for me to say, I've just discovered, but... Yeah, it comes close in places. L little bit of the... Retro era. But still manages to be very good. Demon out of the way. 
Don't make the floor bad. Oh, there's going to be hell to pay for this. Ah, I need to stop trying to avoid everything. Is where I'm falling down. Because it's just it's just not going to work out with this one. You see, he just he just gets you. Just hits you with his powers. Don't matter where you run. Stained glass as well. Sorry, I just looked at stained glass in the middle of the statement. You, you know, I get, I get distracted. I get verbally distracted. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's it's the truth. It's what's true about me is that stained glass sometimes distracts me, and I shoot big, glowing. Yeah, take that. Uh, uh, uh. This time I think we'll take a gauntlet, and since we're a blue wizard, we'll take the blue one. Yeah, that's sort of where our arm is. Good job. Still shoots using his staff, though. Don't bother with the actual gauntlet so much. Okay. Oh yeah, I couldn't like even strictly tell because it was so like it's so quiet on the TV, but like some sometimes the uh like we got different music for this whole section because we were in a cathedral doing it instead of regular type. Some sort of interesting trick to deploy that makes it feel more significant in a way. That is sort of difficult to explain, but. You know, it's like, oh, the, the thing that was, um... You know, it's always been this way, and now it's changed for some reason. Something big must be happening. Sort of, sort of subversion of expectations on a very basic level. Anyway, let's go to hell. Underworld, I guess, looks as you would expect. But yeah, really, really, just it—it's—it's it's what it needs to be. I prefer the desecrated temple visually. This is just sort of a stretch of rock going through lava. But it's a, it's a good functional underworld with impaled people. There's really not that much I can say about it beyond that. Apart from its bastard heart. Often if I do end up um, replaying the Desecrated Temple for any for any reason, I will immediately follow it up by going to the underworld. Just, just because I don't, I don't really know why. It's just like I want, I instinctively seek out the closure of, and now I followed him into the underworld and destroyed him permanently. Yeah, you know, it's, just, you know, it's, it's ingrained in a weird way. Hello, Mister Face. I see you're still dead and terrified. 
insane. Punch you as well, you ghost. Don't be here. I'm shooting you with my glove, I swear. The shots are coming out when that hand moves back is the weird thing. Triple glove shoot. Yeah, I, I usually go for the mask when I get when I get the choice of like scorns equipment, because like it's it's a different elemental shot that you get with the uh, the gauntlet on, but it's sort of difficult to determine if it's even doing more damage compared to the regular. It's a bit like the amulets; you sort of don't know if it's actually doing anything or it just looks pretty. Whereas at least at least the uh, the breath type weapons can sort of clear a small area in front of you all at once. I do think it takes on the properties of the um the, the super shot though. And sort of extends the amount of uses that I have for that. So that is a good reason to go with that. If you're sort of weighing up the pros and cons of gloves versus a demonic mask. If you happen to find a magical crossbow, gloves might be for you. If you don't, go with the mask, because it's more practical on its own. No need to thank me, I'm happy to help. Again, more, f more video game fashion advice. Except we're talking function. So, you know, let, it, let it never be said that I'm purely frivolous. I am, but that's not the point. Get thee back. Get thee behind me, green squiggly bean men. Big chomp monsters, ghosts and other such fiends. You've still got a glove. Does not run out. I feel like the mask runs out by now. Still, definitely got the glove on. You can all go away before I am in a position where I have to deal with you. Oh, turned temporarily invisible. Aha! A second super shot, and we've technically not run out of the first one yet because we it, it extends. It extends by virtue of demonic gloves. Second hammer, we've not used the first one yet. Yeah, we had definitely run out of the mask by now, because we were on the using the hammer at this point. Like, we'd used all of that shit up. Maybe I'm just moving through it quicker, I don't know, it's difficult to say. Fire amulet as well now. We've got burning lightning. Fire on our heads! Oh, we ran out of the glove at the last. Oh, we got to fight Scorn with no without his gauntlet. Because he'd have just been looking at us like, "Is that my fucking glove that you've necked?" You are now entering the Turn up on, at my house, steal my clothes, and fight me with him. He's again sort of a typical demon. Like again I've noticed he's got kind of the um the sort of floating torso like tapering into a pillar of something or other aesthetic. I guess that's just a thing that I generally appreciate I like torsos. I like torsos that are good, I guess. Don't have legs is the lesson. Don't light up my world like nobody else. I'm trying to get close, because I don't know what the range on the hammer is. Never fought a boss with it, really. Oh, I've got to breathe on him now as well. Pay no attention to me, don't do it. Ah, you thought you'd grab me. 
You continued the throwing animation regardless, because you thought you had grabbed me, but you hadn't. Now you will pay the price for your foolishness with death or something. Kill you. Ugh. Doing very well. Probably helps that we had 15 bajillion super weapons with us. Ah, you're, you're doing a crime on me. Truly, yeah, it's... You wouldn't think this would be tiring. I'm, 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 re I'm really sort of feeling it now. It's gaining a renewed appreciation for people who do this professionally. It's exhausting just chatting shit for this long, this long consecutively. 90 level 94. <laughs> I'm not his dad either. It's all real sulky creatures. I see you, Gum, in the background. Don't worry, I'll get to you. He will never again the eight Join me I mean, you said that last time. Teleport me. You can chant as many incantations as you want, Sunshine. I already know you're a gargoyle! You know. We did. We did already know he was a gargoyle. What, do you want me to lie to the man? Blue Wizard has gained a level. Yes, we have. Do 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 do, and we head on to the final battle with that self same gargoyle. <sighs> I'll just take this opportunity to thank you again for watching this. I mean, if you're hearing this, then you are watching this, and so thank you for that. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's pleasant when people take an interest in the things that sort of built your childhood, I guess. You know, it, it, it does mean a lot to me, the idea that someone would want to watch these. But, you know. do ba do ba do as they say. Or as I say, at the very least. I just said it. Final battle. Skip all of that chaff, get to the crunchy meat. This whole area, as we know, recalls very strongly the taste of ginger nut biscuits to me, to my mind. Uh, like a really powerful memory. Strange the associations the brain makes. Right, now. Got a bone to pick with you. Does having arms equip you? Okay, so that can get close. You can you can do that. Ah, you've got specific lightning sweeps that you can do. Any other tricks? No. So it, it is possible to just... I guess they're just counting on you not thinking, well, hang on, I've destroyed his arms. Now he's just doing the same move over and over again. It's an interesting idea visually. I just don't think they thought about how it would work out mechanically. It's a, like, it's a cool concept, chunks of him breaking off. 
But like, it winds up really not working in the boss's favour. It's kind of a cool looking area as well. You can't really make out a lot of it. It's got the spooky aesthetic. The sort of gothic look to it that I really appreciate. So, yeah, you know. The, the battlefield area leading up to it, it's just sort of like orange dirt. But again, you, you know, you got to give it credit for like being able to recall such powerful biscuit-related memories to me, at the very least. You know, there's something kind of cool about sort of the desolation. The desolation of it all, and the, you know, there's some slight variants, you know, it goes from trenches to sort of, uh... I mean, again, I guess it's sort of an indictment that I can't remember what it goes to next, but then, and then it goes from there to sort of like a... Sort of like a hastily cobbled together sort of stronghold. Hurriedly constructed of wood and logs. It is fun. It, it, it's fun as like a last. You know, a last sprint. To the to the final big bad. I think in the original it was for some reason the way you got to the underworld, but uh, I don't know. I may I may be entirely misremembering. I'll have to get the opportunity to play the Dreamcast version again. See what's different between the two, but you know, it would be nice, and I do technically have the option to do it because we've got a supposedly a working Dreamcast. Not quite sure how to hook it up. I don't know if we actually have the correct cables on hand, but I'd have to track down the game, of course, and I'd feel a bit daft buying a game that I already own, but... I don't know, if if, I'd ever, if it ever became... viable for me to do such a thing, I would like to. It's your house. This stuff means a lot to me at the end of the day. I want to see if it, because you know, some, sometimes it does kind of feel like, you know, it's it still works as a memory of like, it's it's still everything that I want and appreciate fundamentally. But like, there are points where it feels kind of like. A strange or like an uncanny facsimile of my childhood, you know, rather than being literally it. And I guess I kind of, I kind of just want to remember, ex like, with complete accuracy, what the real McCoy was, and have that experience again. Stop doing your lightning. I'm, I'm trying to be heartfelt. But yeah. Don't be real. I can't remember what happened to, like... The old Dreamcast. I think it just stopped work. Like, it just packed in and stopped working one day. Shame. It's, you know, it's, hasn't happened with the PS2 yet, but it's going, it's going to one of these days, and so I'm just happy that I've got, I've got this 
again, I'm trying to... You know, I'm... I'm... <laughs> So I can have my monologue for a minute. I'm, I'm happy that I've got this sort of permanent record to go back to. Not just of someone playing it, of, but of me playing it the way that I always play it. So that I can look back on it and think, yeah, all, all is as I remember, you know. Plus, I'm always a bit wary of looking for people on YouTube, because, like, chances are they've done something horrible. <laughs> Chances are they've done something horrible, and that is the exact reason that the algorithm, the algorithm has started pushing them. Got to be real careful that you're not accidentally stumbling across a racist. Skull summoning! Crumble, you tit. Very, very dramatic for... Sort of dramatic and meticulous there for something that you can, like, barely see unless you get real close. Congratulations! Gon has been destroyed! Yeah. And his evil has been purged from the I'm glad. Now we gotta witness this, this horrible situation again. They get lightning to death, they freeze, they turn to sand, they just catch fire, they just explode. There are, there are some of them you can think of something thema some thematic demise for. In certain situations you've just got to make their heads explode and have them be struck by lightning. You can't have an ironic punishment for everyone. Final playtime. 14 hours, 22 minutes. And we're not in level 90 hours. It might be 15 hours per playthrough if we were doing... getting all the way to level 99. So anyway, we've, we've already seen these credits. So I'll just take the opportunity to again thank you for watching, because... Uh, if there is someone watching this, then that's that's kind of wild, huh? But yeah, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, everyone. Hope you enjoyed looking at it, because I certainly do. Fifty episodes. Better go and have my dinner now, aren't I? It's almost midnight. Seems like a good time. <sighs> Why didn't I do this during the day?